direct Django the series was a constant challenge, excitement, because we shoot in Romania with an uh, international cast, and so it was a kind of a dream and also very tough because the scene that we had almost every day to shoot were never fitted in the time we had. How long would it take to, to, to shoot a bank attack or horses or whatever seems very complicated. And so at the end I had my brain like calculating every single minute. What I was in charge to do in Django was the visual creation and all the element was a search for a balance between paying a homage to the Western, which I really wanted to respect, and also find something modern and new. For example, there are a lot of uh, video game, Western video game, which were very inspiring for the costume. I grew up with the Western because I was a teenager in the 70s. Wild Bunch or Sergio Leone's movies, they were kind of making my, not only cinematographic culture, but also my personality, because these are movies that are always speaking about rebellion against power. They're very political movies, but also very, in a way, entertainment. And this was my main preparation of, uh, for Django, that I grew up with those movies and uh, I admired uh, so much. A direct inspiration was a movie called McCabe and Mrs. Miller, from Robert Altman, it, it's the only Western he did. And I really was inspired with the Paki Meduri, the set designer, for the building of our, our utopian city in this crater in uh, Romania. And we built all this city, which was different from the classical Western town, which are flat. And here, everything is um, not straight, not working perfect, it's all wrong, but it, it stands up, hopefully. What drew me to this project is that I was shooting uh, Gomorra, the series, and uh, one episode, because it was it took place in the nature and uh, landscapes. I had the idea to shoot it like a Western, because I am passionate with Western, and I didn't know that the producers, the Italian producers, Catleya as Django developing, and so when they saw the episode, they proposed to me to do it. And of course, it was such a, a huge challenge, very scary, but very funny and marvelous. It's kind of a endless cinematographic dream to make a Western. My approach with the actors, it was the first time in my life that I shoot in English with international from all Europe. And we had uh, some very well-known actors like uh, Matthias Sonart, Numi Rapaz, Nicolas Pinock, and then uh, all a bunch of absolute beginners and very young, sometimes at their first experience, actors from all around Europe. And the, the approach for me is always a little bit the same to uh, have a lot of time with them, learn to know how they are, especially out of frame, when they are sad, when they are angry, when they are shy. And then when you have this path together, what, what is in the frame is kind of organic and natural and is a continuity of this uh, close re rehearsal and preparation time where you, you learn to know them. All the scenes in the show were very complex to shoot. The most complex scene and which in a Western is a paradox because it's almost every scene is with the horses. They feel, they understand the, the tension and you have to create a kind of situation, a mood where they, they, they feel confident. I have many scenes that are uh, kind of iconic of the show. Right now in this moment, the scene that comes into my mind is the first big action scene with Elizabeth, which is Numi Rapaz's character. She is uh, dressed like a man, her face is covered, and she enters in a brothel, a secret brothel, where there are girls and having fun. She goes with a girl as if she was a man and she was a, a client, and there is a kind of erotic tension between them, and then she took her mask off and there is an enormous action violent scene that starts where Numi uh, performed incredibly without any stunt. There are so many 
unexpected and paradoxical element and there is the Edith Piaf song. I felt it was very, very, very interesting. At one moment, she, I was in my um, track and I received a text from Numi who said I had this dream that at the end there is fire everywhere and I answered to her, we're going to shoot this dream. And we did it and we put fire, yeah. We put fire, of course we rebuilt just the exterior of the brothel building, which was in a studio. And Numi stood so long on her knees praying like that, that when we said cut cut, she come close to me and I, I really hug her. I felt all the, the back of her really, really hot because the fire was, 